So here I am guys, it's my last day, my last ever commute into London. I'm standing here in Canary Wharf, in front of the main tower. It's kind of a bit of a surreal feeling. A lot of excitement for what's ahead. And also I'm gonna miss this place. I really enjoy working in London. I love the hustle and bustle. I don't mind the commute at all. No doubt I'll be back here one day, but for now this is goodbye. Gonna have a bit of a party with a few colleagues, clients and some good friends and see my day out in proper style. Smolensky's restaurant here at the bottom of the main tower at One Canada Square is one of the first projects that I ever worked on when I came into London. We did a design, build and installation on a number of these restaurants across London. It's quite fitting that here I am on the last day that I'm going to be working in London at the same place where it all started. building work going on in the city at the moment. It's going to be totally different when I come back. Here I am back in the heart of the city at the Royal Exchange and the Bank of England. Just making my way down to the venue to meet all our friends. Back home after the leaving party last night in London, dancing away till the early hours of the morning with my son and daughter. We had a great time. And it's Saturday now, back at home. As you can see, everything's all boxed up here, all ready to go. We've sold our sofa and coffee table on Marketplace. And now I'm just gonna nip off and borrow a van from a good mate of mine, Glenn. Another Sprinter van, funnily enough. And we're gonna get all of this stuff shifted into storage. So we've picked up this Sprinter from a good friend of mine, Glenn. I've got to give a shout out to his two sons, Molly and George. They've been watching all of my videos. Thanks a lot for the support, guys. We've now got to downsize our two bedroom house and move into our van. So we've got a lot of stuff to clear out. We've got to take a lot of stuff to the recycling center. And then the stuff that we want to keep, we're also going to put into storage. So it's going to be a lot of trips in this van over the next couple of days to get everything cleared out. So we're here at the local recycling centre. This is probably our fifth or sixth trip already. It's amazing what rubbish you accrue over the years. This isn't our local centre though. For some strange reason our local council won't allow vans in our local recycling centre. So we've had to travel 12 miles out of our way to come here. Just so we can get our van in here. Excuse me. 
there's been a huge increase in fly tipping in the UK but when they're not allowing you to bring your household waste to your local refuge place what can they expect? People are just going to dump their rubbish everywhere. So here we are, day six of the move. You can probably tell by my voice I've <laughs> had enough already. These are the last few bits now, we've just got to load these into the van and then that's the house clear. We've done about, must be into double figures on trips to the recycling centre. It's amazing what you accrue, but it's given us an opportunity to have a real good clear out. It's going to be very different living a minimal life after having all of this lot. There we go guys, so the house is all empty now. Probably hear by the sound that it's all echoey. It's all been cleaned. Carpet's clean. Here's a little tip for you when you're moving. You know you get these marks in your carpet when you moved a bit of furniture that you've had sitting there for ages. Here's a good way of getting it out. The towel, make sure it's really nice and wet. Fold it so you've got three or four layers because you don't want to burn the carpet. Lay the towel over the mark and put a hot iron on it and just wait for about 10 seconds. And what this is doing, this is just injecting lots of steam and that into the carpet, loosening up all the fibres. Feel that back, be careful this will be warm. You can already see it starting to disappear. Use with a fork or just tease that pile just a little bit, just to loosen it up. see that's almost disappeared now we'll just give that one more just for about 10 seconds with a little bit of heat Once that carpet's relaxed, that mark will come out. So there we are, we're all cleared out of our house. All of our stuff has gone into storage. We're really lucky that one of our relatives has got a single free garage so we can store the pieces that we want to keep free of charge. We did go down the road previously of hiring a storage unit, but by the time we'd had it in there for some considerable length of time, to be honest, we probably could have bought new items so it's worth considering that if you're going to do long-term storage, look at the costs over the cost, course of the year and you'll see what you're going to pay and the cost of the items that you're actually storing and it will probably work out that you could just do away with those items and buy new and still save money. So we've got a few weeks now just to tidy up all the build on the van. We've still got a few bits and pieces to finish off there. There'll be plenty more videos coming to complete the van build series. And then of course, early August will be away to Europe. So please make sure that you do subscribe. You don't want to miss the trip. There'll be loads and loads of videos when we're traveling around Europe, all about van life. So make sure you hit the little bell symbol. And you'll get a notification next time we upload. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.